What's up guys, Juice Messi here and welcome to a brand new video. Today, we will take a look at some potential ideas and also routes EA could do for the foot birthday celebrations, SBCs, if they do release them. Because at this point in time, nothing is happening. So there's pure speculation and things I'd personally like to see as well as some uh, somewhat realistic ideas. If they're not realistic, I'll mention it though throughout the video. So before we get started, as always, if you show support by leaving a like rating, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you're new to my channel, make sure to click that subscribe button and the comments below. What SBC would you like to see personally for the foot birthday celebrations? And finally, if it's my previous video, it would down below in the description box. So first up, what do we know about foot birthday on FIFA 17? Literally nothing. Nothing has been confirmed. We might not even get this year. If we do, I think it could potentially start today maybe, as last year it was a week-long event. And the St. Patrick's Day promotion does actually end today as well, I think at 6pm. The green cards do go out of packs. And I'm just looking at possible routes EA could go down if, it's a big if, they do release a foot birthday promotion. And remember, SBCs are a new feature to FIFA 17, so we can't base things off FIFA 16, FIFA 15, because they weren't on their game. But we can look at, I'm pretty sure we'll get pack promotions, potentially some free packs as well. And even, um, last year we got a kit through, I think maybe a tournament, but this year, I don't think there's one on the database. Well, there isn't one called Foot Birthday, but either way, let's get into the first set. The very first four players are looking at are the current cover stars of FIFA 17. And there's obviously first up Martial. This guy's one of the best players on the game. So overpowered, I've matched his inform card stats and I changed a couple here and there. But if they did do an SBC Martial, I'm not sure if it'd be a very good thing or really bad for foot jams because he'd be cheaper than his current inform card, I imagine. And just a player I think a lot of people would be after, especially at this point in the game. Then we go on to the next one, opposite direction this time, and that is going to be Eden Hazard. So he does already have an SBC technically through the player of the month and now has got a 93 rated card. I don't think they'd go that high for an SBC Hazard, but if they did, that'd be absolutely awesome. Then we move on to Marco Royce, the main cover star this year, because there was a choice of four players, um, Hazard, Royce, Martial, and the final one I'll show you in a second. And Marco Royce won overall, so he's the main worldwide cover star this year. And he has got in full card 89, again, adjusted a few stats here and there. And the final one, is of course Hamas Rodriguez, the only one of the four that does not have a special card so far on FIFA 17, but that's mainly because he rarely plays in real life compared to the others. Actually saying that, that's not really the case because Martial doesn't play too often. Hazard, of course, the main start, the key player for Chelsea, and uh, Marco Royce, unfortunately for him, he's a key player for Dortmund, but always injured. So they're the current cover stars of FIFA 17, but now the next section is kind of like tied into that, but it's past cover stars from FIFA 09 up to FIFA 16, worldwide covers as well as other nations. Now, just before I click on it, I'm gonna say it's very unlikely as the contracts have ended, and it doesn't include ones on this year's, obviously FIFA 17 as they're right there. So the players that have previously been on covers of FIFA Ultimate Teams or FIFAs in general are right here. It's the very first page, a lot to get through. I'm not going through every single player because I'm not changing stats, but the key ones, of course, Wayne Rooney, he was on there for like FIFA 06 up to maybe FIFA 11. It might even be later than that. By the way, Rooney was a massive mainstay on the front of FIFA games. Dear Walker, I think featured once. Kaka, another player that featured a lot on the covers. Jack Wilshere was a one-off. Messi, he took over from Rooney mainly and also Ronaldinho. Unfortunately, he's not in the game at all. But Messi, I'm not sure if they're like on good terms with him or not because when he got like two goals, two assists the other day, man of the match at a 10 rating, he didn't get in form. We've got Joe Hart, Oxley Chamberlain, Gareth Bale, uh, Sergio Ramos, De Rossi, and Morris Edu. And on the bench, we have got Ochoa, uh, Tim Kay, who another players feature a lot, mainly for the Australian region of FIFA games. And we have got Lewandowski, Chiellini, uh, Benzema, Mandanda, Horu, I'm not sure how you say his name, but those three apparently are on the cover all at once, like really back on like FIFA 11 or FIFA 12. Uh, Schweinsteiger, Kirsten, Meza Ozil, Rene Adler, and Rafael Marquez. And we've got another set of players also being on the cover of FIFA. So Hernandez, Vidal, El Shirawi, a great player um, back on like, FIFA 12. Falcao, Shakiri, Higuain. A, we've got a couple of Saudi players here and there. I'm not sure who they are though personally. And a couple of Japanese players. We've got Hasebi and also Yoshida. Uh, Clint Dempsey, Alaturan, followed by Ichida, another Saudi player. Uh, Henderson, back on FIFA 16 it was. Shinji Kagawa, David Alaba. Griezmann. Now, I never knew he was on the cover of a FIFA, but apparently was uh, just a couple of years ago. Jan Sommer, Quadrado, Fabian, Icardi, Milik, and Hasawi. I think there was like 46 players or something there, which all have been on the cover of FIFA along the line from FIFA 9 onwards. And players that have been on the cover, but not currently on alternate team or have now retired are Ronaldinho, Frank Lampard, Kevin Karani, Juzak, which I think is the Hungarian guy, 
Blanco, Simao, Chavi, Semak, Donovan, Oscar, Ivan Shit, uh, Kadlek, and a guy called Catley. But overall, I again, I think it's unlikely, although there's a couple of players I really would like to see. And now we've got players that have got birthdays throughout the foot birthday celebrations that potentially could happen. The dates I've gone with are going to be the 20th, which is today, until next week, the 27th. So assuming it would be a week-long event, these are players we could work with. So first up is Marcos Rojo, who on head-to-head -head now is like an 83-rated centre-back. Didn't get a winter upgrade though, but I think it would be a centre-back, and he does turn 27 today, in fact, so happy birthday to him. As well as the next player, which is going to be Fernando Torres. He turns 33 today. So getting on a little bit now in regards to football age, but of course 33 isn't the oldest, to be honest. But Torres, a great player back in there, can still play very well now um, for Atletico. Then we go on to Anton Griezmann. His birthday is tomorrow, the 21st and he turns 26. Will he be Atletico Madrid this summer? Or after that, we'll have to wait and see. Another player of a birthday tomorrow is going to be Jordi Alba from Barcelona. In fact, he turns 28 tomorrow, um, so that would be a really nice card to have, although he does currently have an informed card. Then we've gone to the 22nd. Only one real like, stand-up player I can notice has got a decent FIFA card is at Christopher Julian. He's a massive centre-back from Toulouse. Uh, he does currently have an informed card as well, so if they did release it at 81, it'd be very, very cheap. I imagine a few people would do it. Then we go on to the next day, which goes to the 23rd, which I think is Thursday, maybe. Uh, first up, Eric Maxim Chupo Moting. He turns 20 on that day. Then we go on to Uzan Tufan or Fenerbahce. He turns 22. And the final one on that day is a man that I love on FIFA Ultimate Team, Omar Al Soma. If he doesn't get an SBC now, I'm pretty sure he will uh, for a league SBC for being the top goal scorer in the Saudi league last season. And this year, he's killing it again. And that is the Syrian Ibrahimovic right there. Six foot four, four star skill his four star weak foot and an absolute god in game. Then we go on to Diego Roland, a Uruguayan striker currently playing for Bordeaux. And his birthday is on the 24th, the only player in fact on that day. And he turns 24 as well. Then we go on to Mehmet Ikichi, currently playing for Trabzonspor in Turkey. His birthday is on the 25th. He turns 27, I think possibly he may be a free agent this summer. And his FIFA Ultimate Team card, those type of boosts, that's reusable and decent rating. Another player on the 25th is Scott Sinclair of Celtic. He turns 28, as does a FIFA legend, Alexander Svine. And on the 25th, he turns 27. So a player that back on FIFA 13, he caused a lot of damage. Then we got on to the 26th, and the only player that day is that Simon Kier, I think his name is, from Fenerbahce, and he turns 28. And the final day, the 27th, which is next Monday, first of a big one, 93 rated Manuel Neuer, he turns 31 uh, in a week's time. Then we go on to Unkulu, who now plays for Leon, he turns 27. And the final one is a West Ham player, Pedro Obiang, who turns 25. And I'm pretty sure if we've got the option of having one player a day for their birthday throughout the foot birthday celebrations, I think a lot of us would be very happy about it because you go back to Footmas. We were very spoiled, in fact. We got three players a day uh, based on their shirt number, and most of the players were very, very good. And who knows, we could well get the Footmas idea back for the potential foot birthday celebrations, basing it off the player's shirt number and the day that it does coincide with. And the final group is going to be throwback players, fan favorites over the years from FIFA 09 all the way up to FIFA 16. Players that we've loved that can be bronze, silver, or gold. They're just players that bring back nostalgia and are very good on foot. So first up, We've got a 55 rated Paul Pogba back from FIFA 12. Honestly, he has got like very good stats for bronze right there for 55 especially, but he had like 90 plus rated stats in game for a 55 rated player. And I'm pretty sure when he transferred to Juventus, his card was even better than that. It's like 61 or 64 rated. I'm not quite sure what it was, but overall stats like a bronze, potentially the best bronze ever. But that is, of course, rivaled by a very special card back on FIFA 11 and the Inform Wallison. I think he's got like a 45 yard uh, volley or something. Most of the stats are like 45. I can't remember off by heart. And the shooting stayed the same. He had some insane in game stats. That's why he's potentially the best bronze ever. Then we go on to Victor Ibarbo's FIFA 14 card. In fact, now he has actually transferred to the Japanese J League. Fortunately, though, they are on FIFA Ultimate Team. And this FIFA 14 card. It was so broken. I think a lot of people would be after that card because right now he's currently a winger. Then we go on to Stefan El Shirai, one of my favorite cards ever on FIFA Ultimate Team. Uh, 73 to Cam for AC Milan back in the day. Five star skill moves, five star weak foot fortune this year. He has got five star skill moves still. 81 pace, 70 shot and passing, 79 dribbling. But for some reason in game, honestly, FIFA 12, if you played with him, you know how good he really was. Then we go on to Tay Taiwo. Back at Milan, yeah, I think he also had a QPR card on FIFA 12. He was 79 rated, but look at those stats. 
Yeah, his dribbling is god awful, but that somewhat helped him because his long shots back in the day, honestly, are some of the best ever. And because he has only got 59 dribbling, it somewhat helped him set up a good long shot because his touch would be so far in front of him, he could run onto it and absolutely slam it home. So honestly, I love that card. And currently he's playing, I think, in Switzerland for FC Lusanne Sport, although he doesn't currently have a transfer card for some reason on a FIFA Ultimate Team. Then we go on to Samuel Eto'o. Now, he does have an SBC currently, um, because I think he's a top goal scorer in Turkey or something. Well, Mario Gomez was, but then of course left the league, so Eto was the second best or something like that. But now, um, his card does lack some pace. There's like 78 or 76 pace or something. But his FIFA 13 card, Angie, was 88 rated. Yeah, he has got lower shooting, passing. I think people would sacrifice that for that 93 pace. Another player I mentioned earlier is going to be Alexander Esfine back on FIFA 13. This is card 75 rated striker. I have adjusted the defending and physical by the way uh, because of course they've changed now since back in the day how they worked them out. Um, the physical wasn't even a stat on FIFA 13 in fact. But 90 pace, 70 shot, 75 dribbling. Overall has got worse stats on FIFA 13 compared to his FIFA 17 card as a winger. It doesn't really make too much sense um, but he's now a silver that would be a gold. Then we go on to David Luiz. Now he is back at Chelsea and he does have a better like, 84 rated card but as a 79 back in the day, FIFA 12, FIFA 13, he was so low rated, but honestly, one of the best defenders in the game, that's why he's in this team. Then we go on to Emmanuel Emanike, this guy, FIFA 13 as well. FIFA 13 produced a lot of like ridiculously overpowered players, and he comes into that category, a pinchy even like FIFA 12, and maybe even FIFA 14. Then we go on to Adair, FIFA 14 for this guy, he crossed into the box, he'd win everything. And just last year, throughout the summer, he was the hero for Portugal, scoring the winning goal at Euro 2016. Then we go on to the final one, that's Hesse Rodriguez. Now, a lot of people may not remember this card. Back on FIFA 14, it was. Uh, he started off as a silver striker for Real Madrid. 87 pace, 85 dribbling, and 72 shot on a 72 rated card. That is madness. And it is easy one of my favorite silvers on that game, guys. Says my favorite throwback card so far. Of course, they may not even do this. I'm pretty sure they won't do this, but we can dream. And on that note, guys, that is going to be the final potential SPC we can see fourth foot birthday now of course again these are just ideas the cover stars i think the cover stars is pretty quite a high possibility these on storybacks pretty very unlikely uh, same goes for x cover stars and birthdays that could potentially be likely as well kind of matching the footmas stuff with the shirt numbers guys so as always if you enjoyed this video share support by leaving a like rating that'd be absolutely awesome if you need to my channel click the subscribe button and the comments below what throwback card would you personally want to see return on fever 17 they can't change club though and finally if you missed my previous video down below in the description box so thank you for this video and i'll see you next time